everybody, it's Astrid Mueller again. I just recently gave myself the title CEO of Girl Power and Possibility. I love connecting. <laughs> I love connecting women business owners worldwide and helping you all succeed. I have a super cool interview lady here with us today um, to share tips on blogging. Uh, she's an expert and a full-time, full professional blogger, and I wanted to pick her brain on blogging. I'm talking with Carla Ortiz. <laughs> Hi, Carla. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> Quick introduction to Carla. So she um, she studied um, journalism, fashion journalism, and she worked for a while in the corporate side of fashion companies like Amy Claire, Ralph Lauren, Steve Madden. So she knows the inside of the industry. And then she turned full-time blogger with her own blog, Oat, Oat Cocktail, <laughs> and she's freelance writer. Um, she's been featured in a magazine in New York called Magazine Bella New York and has really cool success stories along the way. She's super positive and girl power, and I'm so excited to have you. <laughs> awesome. So um, let, do you want to tell people just a little bit more, like from your backline, where do you stand today? What is your focus? What You just came back from New York Fashion Week and covering it. <laughs> hands, hands when I look like a hot mess. Every Everyone, so uh, sorry. <laughs> I literally just got back from Fashion Week, so I've been like resting, and now today is just like straight to work. Is that, is that your main focus at the moment? Your your own blog and cover and writing for brands, or do you also do freelance writing? Like, where do you stand just today? Like your main thing. Well, right now I I do my blog, and then I also write um, for other websites. Mm -hmm. Mostly, I write for Latin E, which mm -hmm. is a Latin entertainment website. I write yeah. on fashion, and I also write on, on other lifestyle topics like food and cocktails. Pretty much everything I cover on my blog, I cover for them with a Latino um, focus. Yes. Yes. And then funny. I have a, a monthly, sort of monthly, um, fashion column on the fashion potential and yeah. like how to start your blog and how to monetize and all this little like, tips and tricks to, you know, get invited to events and stuff like that. Yeah, I saw you do a seminar at the Fashion Potential as well, which occasionally pops up in New York on blogging, yeah. right? Yeah, that's really great. That's yeah. how I got to know you too. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So let's pick your brain on, because um, I am doing all these videos for women business owners to help them succeed and solopreneurs usually. Um, so we often want to have a blog for our business to communicate our brand. And uh, I want to ask you a few questions um, to uh, you as experts so we can kind of learn from you um, how to best do this. So. One of the big questions that is always my thing, when you start a blog, like how do you get it off the ground? <laughs> it can take so long. Like, Do you have any insider tips here? Well, it'll definitely take time. Like, There's not like a magic potion to start a blog and have it like, you know, yeah. go with lots of traffic or whatever like that. But there's definitely ways to start a blog in a more successful, you know, step forward and do things that will create more of a buzz and create more traffic to your website and mm -hmm. not only to your blog, but then your, your website, wherever you're, you're presenting yourself for more business and, and whatever. Um, basically the, the things that are the most important are consistency. Yeah. Um, if you're going to have a blog on, 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 for your business, ride consistent on it. It could be even if it's only once a week, but yeah. every once a week on Wednesdays there's a new blog post. Right. Or twice a week or three times a week. I think a good number is between two and three times a week to write mm -hmm. on, on any blog. Because um, then by promoting those blog posts and staying um, engaged on social media, um, you'll I call it like you're still alive. Like even if yes. I go through a lull that I don't like post on my blog that often, mm -hmm. you can still find that I'm doing things and sharing stuff on my social media channels. Yeah, that's um, but specifically talking about blogging, definitely writing consistently is really important. Sharing that post with your friends and through all your social media channels mm -hmm. is really important. And not only that same day that you created the blog post, but how about scheduling posts for a couple of days ahead yeah. so people that missed it that one day can see it and come back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's about creating that momentum and mm -hmm. growing. There's lots of resources, mostly through social media channels, um, for you to share your posts, not only through your own personal channels, but there's groups and, and group boards and mm -hmm. Pinterest and stuff like that right. that create even more traffic. 
That's awesome. How long did it take you to get traction with your own blog after you started it so that we don't despair, you know, just waiting for people <laughs> well, to Well, I, I think once it's, it's, it's interesting because I started my blog just as a random idea. Like it, it wasn't, I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to start a blog blog. I'm going to be a blogger. Like mm -hmm. it was never like that. But however, I can tell you that it was pretty quickly when I stopped, um, doing it just randomly and I consistently started posting like two to three times a week. Mm -hmm. I remember when I became really, really religious about that, um, it started growing. I was like, oh my God, I started receiving these emails offering me like products to like style cool. on my blog. I started discovering this blogger networks where I had opportunities to work with brands and mm -hmm. maybe get paid or get like free product. At that time, that was amazing. And I was like <laughs> a whole other, um, the, the blogging community has grown so much, it's like what the things I'm remembering, and I was like, wow, um, so different now. But once I started writing consistently and sharing my posts, and I created my Facebook page because mm -hmm. even though I had Twitter and I had my blog, I, I didn't have a Facebook page for mm -hmm. it either. And I remember um, starting that too. So I, I became more involved in all of the social media channels, mm -hmm. I became more constant in, in how frequently I would write each week. and. Yeah. A couple of months. It wasn't a full year when I started seeing. I, I started creating more of a, a report with brands, with other bloggers, and, yeah. and creating myself more opportunities. Okay, about a year is it realistic to to. Yeah, see a something? year to like. Mm -hmm. A year would be like a good chunk of yeah. time to say yeah. you would definitely see a difference. Yeah. But definitely less. Mm, okay. Um, Oh, okay. <laughs> Takes a lot of work like, with everything, right? <laughs> cool. Um, my next question is, how would you recommend um, brands can get people engaged? <laughs> That's like always a big question. But like, do you have any tricks up your sleeve, things you do or how, like something, how you can uh, set up your mind, um, things? Yeah. What do you do to get people engaged? Uh, I think when I think about engagement, I think it's great content. I have this blog post that I've been so surprised how great it's done. I think I shared an experience that one, people are curious about. And so I have a really insightful that uh, perspective of it because I did it. I showed pictures of the process and I also shared a lot of detailed information plus like fun tips. It was um, an in-office um, whitening treatment okay. for the teeth. Yeah. So I guess a lot of people are like, oh, I want to whiten my teeth. And I, I don't know, that post has done great. And basically it was just, I got to experience that. And I got to tell you from the beginning of my experience to the end how it went and how what it is. And, and a lot of people had like more questions and, oh, I did not know that. Oh, like that tip about how to keep your teeth like whitened for longer is great. So I think it's quality. Mm -hmm. and, and it's not only about, oh, let's write about this and let's research and talk quality about something. I think when you experience something yourself, when you, as an entrepreneur, you have a, an expertise. You yeah. know about this. You studied it. You, you work on it every single day. You experience it in different levels with different customers mm -hmm. and clients. You have an insight that your, your followers, your clients don't have. Mm -hmm. So I think it's about bringing that quality of content and this unique perspective and, and yeah. unique tips that are fun and, and, and different for people. Yeah. And that's like through a blog post. And then I think on social media, it goes sort of on the same route. It's pretty much about being yourself. Mm -hmm. I think why social media has been so successful is because we bridge that that part between being a brand and a person. Yeah, like all of a sudden, everyone's a person. Every brand is a person. Mm -hmm. And people want to know what this person is about. What mm -hmm. are they doing? What do they like? How do they feel? And when you open yourself more, when you tend to talk more about your own experiences, not only, for example, uh, white, you know, white treatment, mm -hmm. uh, but the things that I'm doing, the things that I'm feeling, and things like that, and ask questions. Yeah. People tend to engage. Yeah. People open a lot, and yeah. um, and it's a great way to start communication, even like brainstorm ideas mm -hmm. with your same community mm -hmm. of people. That sounds really good. So yeah. Mm -hmm. 
don't be afraid to be yourself on social media and yeah. to express a little bit of the inside of, of your world, inside and out. You touched some really good points there that I also know from brandings, like being authentic, like being yourself and kind of like have somebody who, who has the voice of the brand. And as solopreneurs, I guess it's it's ourselves because we are behind the brand. Um, but even if you have a few employees or something, if you have, uh, think of your brand voice and just be consistent and authentic and show like who the team behind is behind brand. So so you mentioned that, that, that was really great. And then um, you mentioned another one about um, about asking questions, which naturally is also inter interesting for people. But um, the third one, which I also noticed, is when when you um, that you mentioned to um, to make it really really relevant. And like um, I guess also it helps us to think if we just visualize our customers <laughs> and really put ourselves in the shoes of those customers as a brand um, and think what is most beneficial to them. That that's a great tip. And like I've noticed that too. Like I did a blog post that was kind of very intense and long, like long tips about branding or something and and those are the ones where people actually um uh, draw a lot out of and then, yeah so thank you for sharing <laughs> yeah. yeah oh of course yeah and like and again you you encounter people every single day through your business i think it's a great way of like open up your ears why are mm -hmm. these people asking you right that's content for you to create for your social channel you, you have your expertise people are asking you questions are mm -hmm. curious about certain things so how is that done or yeah. Whatever your business, I guess I'm trying to stay very general because yeah. there's so many businesses out there. But you'll you'll have things to inspire you every single day mm -hmm. through your own life in your business and through your clients. There's yeah. always questions. There's yeah. always curiosity, and that you can use to create content. So one other question uh, that is as always so relevant to small business owners is um, about how to, how to do it all <laughs> because we have only such a time window of um, limited time of where we can do things. We want to grow our business and the blog is only a small thing in the scheme. <laughs> Ideally, we just want to get money and sales. <laughs> You know, it's yeah. like, it doesn't happen overnight, obviously. But um, so the question is, like, how do you start a blog um, or should you even start a blog um, as a small business owner? And how do you make it happen? It's like, how do you have tips on on doing it um, uh, without uh, spending too much time and how to make it really effective? Like, what's what's your secret weapon <laughs> or tips? you could give us well okay uh i guess a secret weapon here would be tools like hootsuite that mm -hmm. let you pre-schedule this posts yeah um and just taking the time and this is for social media but then for actual blog posts just take a day out mm -hmm. they like the same way you sometimes have a day for like right. paperwork or yeah. a day for like financial stuff mm -hmm. have like a social media day mm -hmm. and that day you can you know write a couple of posts maybe ahead of time for yeah. for a couple of days or a couple of weeks however you want to work it mm -hmm. and however frequently you post I guess because yeah. that'll give you more or less work work ahead work yeah. ahead of time like when you have things that are already done ready to go live on your blog it's way easier to focus on the rest Good and time. when you have that time that you know that this time is time for this yeah it becomes easier because you're not thinking that I'm doing this while I should be doing this other thing yeah, good point uh, mm -hmm. yeah it's all about managing your time and using mm -hmm. all these tools and resources that let you actually work ahead of time yeah. and have content mm -hmm. on your blog and on your social media going live while you're like I don't know Doing something working like with a customer and something. Right, exactly. Oh, that's a really good point. And it's so simple to think about it, but actually just schedule it. <laughs> yes. Such, the yeah. hardest part is the discipline of like saying, yeah. this is the day and I'm going to do it. Yeah. It's, it's the hardest part for everyone. Like yeah. the tools are out there. Um, we can make the time somehow, especially us entrepreneurs mm -hmm. that sort of work 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the hour you're watching a movie at night with like a cup of tea is when you sit down with your laptop I think it's it's also about like not taking it that seriously the moment I stress out about writing a blog post mm -hmm. is the moment that that blog post is not being written because oh, I'm like the moment I just say Carla this is just playing with your computer sit yeah. down yeah and write a blog post it becomes so easy and natural we yeah, have right. the information we're writing about mm -hmm. it's it shouldn't be a really um daunting task yeah you have words in your head already yeah you'll be surprised how like how fast 300 words come out of you 
That is such a cool tip too. It's like, because we, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Thank you for, for, <laughs> for giving out that inspiration. That's really great. Like I, I also spotted that inspiration in a book too um, about productivity actually, where it was for creatives, written for creatives. And, and um, it said like, you know, sometimes you have this this project that you want to do, a big project, and um, it, it, it kind of weighs on our shoulders because we somehow we just don't find the time or we think we should do something else. Cause just like you're saying, and uh, the guy, the writer um, was saying, that it would be great to just give it a cool name and to turn it into the positive. <laughs> so like for myself, I did it um, with the ebook writing that I did. I For myself, I, instead of like my workbook or ebook, I called it the golden book. <laughs> and every time I was like, it's like, oh, I'm going to have fun like writing a little bit. And then it's much more easier. And I, I, actually, we do have fun talking about that stuff. So it's just going back into that mindset. And um, yeah, giving us okay to do it in a specific time that we schedule and then have fun. I love that. That that sounds really good. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many tools to help us. I discovered the other day that I think Google Docs has mm -hmm. like a microphone thing now. Oh, so I yeah. Think you can actually talk to the computer yeah. and it'll type for you. Oh, yeah. So you don't even have to type anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to test that out. I played with apps before for that. It's like I haven't found the ideal one yet. They always like make up some mistakes, but I mean, it's still cool. Like you can still like if you can write up text text and then fix them later. Uh, yeah, that, that's a yeah. good time saver idea. Thank you. Very cool. So um, let's let's do one last tip for for women entrepreneurs. If you think of women business owners, because you're also a woman business owner um, with your own blog and freelance writing from your expertise is there any particular resource you can think of which would be really useful for girl power startups and small business owners something help you like a book or to any other tip or something wow um well per the first thing i just thought was like i find like a lot of inspiration of like, yes Let's do it. Let's conquer today <laughs> through Instagram. Okay. There are a lot of great um, Instagram accounts yeah. with like quotes to inspire you yeah. and, and like how to, you know, power through and, and be an entrepreneur. Cool. <laughs> like, uh, I guess Boss Babe would be one. Let's yeah. give a three minute power quiz to you um, to give back to ah. you. So um, what, <laughs> <laughs> what exciting things are you working on these days? Uh, well, one, I just came for Fashion Week, so that's pretty exciting. Yeah. And, and I guess now I feel really inspired to bring something else to next Fashion Week, mm -hmm. like maybe video. Let's see. I don't oh, know. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, and then I, talking about video, I'm getting really, really motivated into, and I found this group of people here in Miami that I'm going to start working with to create more you know, beautiful imagery for, for my outfit pictures yeah, and also cool. create videos, mm -hmm. um, more videos. I need to, I guess, engage more through yeah. video. I'm also an actress, so I'm, I keep thinking that I really need to jump back into that and mm -hmm. I have a short film coming in October. Nice. So, nice. yeah. So I guess, like, video. Yes. In one word, video is the exciting <laughs> part that's coming in it's different ways. It's so interesting <laughs> that you're saying that. I'm, I'm noticing, like talking with other women entrepreneurs, that there seems to be a trend to shorter uh, information and to more and more video. I mean, like Twitter uh, has the option now you can upload video on Twitter and like the whole um, Periscope thing that's coming up and all that stuff, right? It's like it seems to be the future that people maybe read less long articles but want to like quicker engagement and, and more direct video do you did you notice that talking with others oh too? no definitely that is definitely yeah. um it's something that's happening in, in the industry uh yeah. video is, is is the new thing yeah um totally before totally. it was like beautiful images and that's still it yeah however now in i in the workshops that i was doing for the fashion potential i mentioned that mm -hmm. especially on facebook was the first place that you could see it a lot yeah that I'm like, go to your Facebook feed and tell me how many videos you're seeing these days. Yeah. It's, right, I right. think BuzzFeed started a revolution. <laughs> cool. Thank you. At, at three years from now, like, where are you going to be? Like, what do you have? Like, what are your big dreams? I just want to be free and do what I love, which is yeah. sort of what I'm doing, but I want to do it bigger and better, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. Totally. And I would love to travel more. That sounds great. I can't wait to see where you're going to go in the future. And thank you so much for joining us and for sharing these amazing tips with everybody. I really appreciate your time. Um, and yeah, much success to you. 
um carla and um <laughs> we'll see you online <laughs> thank you so much yeah bye -bye. see you online everyone bye everyone